What's up guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm gonna to show you how to introduce a bit to a horse. The very first step is gonna be just asking the horse to open his mouth with our fingers. Because there's no teeth right here in the corner of their mouth, we can put our finger in. I can move my finger around a little bit, up and down, tickle him on the top of his mouth. And there. So as soon as he opens his mouth, I let go. The second thing I wanna do is go ahead and make a loop in the lead rope. And this is gonna be a little bit like the bridle. We're gonna ask the horse to open his mouth and we're gonna slip this rope in and it's gonna get him used to the feeling, okay? So I'm gonna put it over his head like this and then I'm gonna use my thumb to open up his mouth. You ready? There you go. And as soon as he opens it, I'm gonna slip this rope in just like that. They'll chew on it like that, that's totally normal. All right, now after a second, I can take it out. All right guys, so it's the same process as with the rope, except now I'm gonna hold the bit in place, get ready to actually put it in, just like I normally would with a horse that knows how to do it. So I'm gonna capture his nose, so I have a little bit of control of him, I can keep him here. Then I'm gonna put my hand between, his, my arm between his ears, and then I'm gonna put my thumb here, ask him to open up his mouth, okay? And when he does, I'm gonna lift up with my right hand. Okay, right there, perfect. Now I'm gonna slip over the far ear and slip over the close ear. And now I wanna be careful that the bit's not too loose, because if it's too loose, he can get his tongue over the top of it. So I'm gonna check it and make sure it's a little bit a little bit snug. I don't want it to be loose at this point. So I need to go ahead and tighten it up. So he did pretty well, that went pretty smoothly. You gotta be careful when you're putting it in not to bang his teeth with the bit because that can be painful. And now he's gonna to continue to chew with this bit for a very long time. It might be two or three days, it might be two weeks. The reason he's doing that is because it feels different for him. It's something in his mouth and he's trying to get his tongue over the top of the bit and it's important that the bit's tight enough so that he can't get his tongue uh, around and over it because it's supposed to be on top of his tongue. If it goes under his tongue, it can really hurt him. So he's gonna be trying to get his tongue over the top of it and that's perfectly normal. So what I like to do is I like to leave the bit on the horse for at least an hour um, and I, sometimes I'll leave it up to three or four hours. So if you have a nice area you can keep your horse in that's not dangerous, he can't get it caught on something, then you can go ahead and take off your reins just leave the bit in the horse's mouth and they'll learn to stop chewing on, on the bit, okay? Because they need to get used to drinking with it and eating a little bit with it and stuff like that so that they're really just completely happy with it. Now you can notice now he's already not chewing on it. So that's a little bit faster than most horses, but some horses it'll be two or three days before they stop chewing on it. So that's the theory guys, it's very simple to do as long as you're consistent and you teach the mouth opening with your finger first and get them used to the roping in their mouth. You can see how quickly he's already stopped chewing. He's accepted the bit. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.